so this is the tea factory and they are producing the tea there and they are processing here uh, so we are going to inside there is a procedure we have to uh, do entry first mm -hmm. then we are going to show the inside Hello, yes sir how are things uh, everything is okay sir how are you ah it's quite all right i'm yeah, quite happy we have we finished finally we finished tea one factory finally we finished tea garden yeah. and we are going to show we are going to see tea factory, tea factory eh, inside okay. how they are process the tea okay. so that you can get some idea yeah you can and get some idea want to make a business yes so we can just connect in between asia and africa yeah. europe and africa okay america and africa america and africa yeah, yeah. and what about asia <laughs> asia i have many brothers there so yeah. they, they can do that business, yes yes no so we can go inside and that is where they are taking tea yes much than any because tea any, is any. going to join all community all religion even all country everywhere they are using it has blessed different different let types see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let us see what so okay okay sir thank you so much we are still waiting for access inside i think it's not easy to get access inside but we are waiting mr patrick is negotiating with people if they are allowed then we will go and so inside otherwise we have to go back so this is the view a factory area finally they refused to enter inside so we are going back <laughs> we are now we are not allowed inside okay patrick I think he's scared some. Yeah? Why he refused? I don't know. I'm People are coming to visit from far area. Yeah. He's coming to with us. is just one of the province of Burundi okay uh, it is known to be one the most populated most populated when we are talking in terms of uh, the density density so here we have around 400 people per mm. kilometer square yeah. which is one of the highest in Africa. No, in Africa so that's why a lot of young people mm. come from this province and go to Bujumbura okay. uh, to look for work okay. because of the high density of population yes, they yes. have some land issue okay, okay. Uh, so not everyone can have enough of land okay yes but also there is a, a very big factory as I was saying mm. which produces liquor okay. including uh, drinks similar to Russian vodka. Oh, yes. So it's called Burundi Waragi and uh, <laughs> other drinks. Okay. Yeah. So most uh, most of the drinks are made uh, with banana. Oh, banana. Yeah, so Ibom, Ibom they make, make uh, uh, banana wine, and out of the wine they make other products. Okay. Yes. So the, that's mostly what Kayanza is known for. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this beautiful history of Kayanza mm. province. So in addition, the location is Kayanza is one of the provinces which uh, have a border mm. with uh, Rwanda, Rwanda, especially in the area called Kabarore. Kabarore. There is a, in a border uh, between Burundi and, and Rwanda. Rwanda. Okay. Uh, and the Kibiran National Forest that we saw mm -hmm. continue from uh, Kabarore into Rwanda, into Rwanda and once in Rwanda it becomes uh, a forest known as Nyungwe National Forest Nyungwe National Rwanda. Forest, yes, in Rwanda They yes. changed the name Exactly Okay So, thank you guys for <coughs> this beautiful history of Kianja and this is the Burundi, ruler Burundi. The beauty of ruler Burundi we are going to explore. 
so that's enough for this video <laughs> peace out <laughs>